Hi friends, hope you're all doing well. I'm back with another video for the start of the new year. Kevin and I took a short drive over to the NCC Greenbelt to walk the beaver trail. I had seen some cool pictures on Instagram of the old lime kiln, but this trailhead was closed, so we actually started from the beaver trail slash chipmunk trail, I think it's called, and we wanted to see if we could walk as close to the old kiln structure as possible. To my surprise, despite the trailhead for the Lime Kiln Trail being closed for construction, we were actually able to access from the back route from the Beaver Trail. Be sure to check out this trail if you're looking for an easy walk close to the city. It's nice to know that you don't have to go far to be able to get out into the woods and explore something new. For Christmas, Kevin's gift to me was an Osprey Lumina 60 pack. We brought it along for fun, but this trail by no means really requires it. This pack is recommended for long days or week long hikes. So I'm really looking forward to using it in the future. For our trips last year, I'd been using Kevin's old pack since he purchased the men's version of this pack actually this summer. While his old pack works just fine, I'm excited to have my very own gear to use. So thank you, Kevin, so much for getting this for me for Christmas. I think it'll be super cute that we'll both be matching on our future trips. So green. On our way back to the trailhead, we found a spot to try out my Christmas gift to Kevin. Kevin has all the necessary camping gear, so I thought it'd be nice to add a luxury item to his collection. I got him a Barosis double camping hammock. Where do you want to set it up? I don't know if you want to get this in the mirror or no. Okay. 
I asked Kevin for his thoughts after this trial run and he said that he appreciates that it has a bug net complete with a ridge line so that it keeps the net off of you while you're lounging in the hammock. He thinks that we can make the overall gear lighter if we swap the carabiners that it came with for some lighter ones. And he said that he's got to work on some knots for tying the straps to the trees. And he also likes that it's a double, but he's not sure that it would be large enough for two people to sleep in it overnight. But we'll see how that goes over the summer. <laughs> If you guys want an in-depth review on these products, be sure to leave a comment below or like this video so I know what you guys want to see. And for more pictures from this trail, be sure to check out the blog and my Instagram. I just want to say Happy New Year again to everyone and welcome back. Be sure to subscribe for more videos like this and I can't wait to see what adventures we come up with next. Put your legs on one side. <laughs> Scooch. <laughs> can't and sucking Well, they were cold. <laughs> you don't look comfortable. What? You don't look comfortable. I'm not. It's like... <laughs>